No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, oh God, the last thing I remember was, oh. Let's see what 15 days of experimenting with superpowers gave us. That's not a good sign. Oh, it was that, wasn't it? Oh God, it's so bright. Where am I? What, what is this place? This isn't the same vault I died in. Joris, sweet precious Joris, you survived. The horrible void monster didn't kill you dead. Did you, did you save me? Did you bring me here? Where did you get those clothes? My god, look at you. Oh, my my horrible Wolverine cosplay claws seem to have disappeared. All of that genetic testing was for nothing. But I feel, I feel different. I feel like there's, uh, Joris, please get your ass out of my face. I feel like there's something different. <laughs> there's something different in my brain. There's something different in my brain. What is his sign? Maybe it'll tell me who saved my, my life. Dear moron. This bear dragged your headless body to my hideout. It must have smelt the neurotonin that I used to heal you. Whoa. Neurotonin is the drug the Void have that lets them heal anything. It's a cure-all. Must be how my head regrew. And in this in, in this room, there, there seems to be a sealed crypto casket. Maybe that's the person who saved me. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Come on, it's got to be one of these buttons, right? Anytime now, whatever you... Oh! Hello? Oh my god, a member of Void and she's... Throwing up all over the floor. What the hell is this? Madam? Madam, are you my... Oh, gosh, she's still vomiting. You must be the one who saved me then. Hello. A mysterious savior. Affected by... Are you good with the good with the vomit now? Maybe you must just get you to move over there. You've stepped in enough horrible bodily fluids on the floor for one series. Who are you, strange, mysterious void member? Who could you possibly be? We just got a bunch of numbers. Void, void, code, no doubt. That means something, I'm sure. Whoa. A vat grown assassin turned deserter. A deserter of void. And incapable of basically everything besides a tremendous amount of murder. More than any murder I've ever seen before. Oh, well, thank you, random person. Thank you for saving me. Uh, but I'm sure they're going to be back, aren't they? Any day now. And of course, there's something very weird about me as well. Maybe it was the experimental void formula that 78 gave me to regrow my head. Maybe it's where the giant void monster knocked my head up in the first place. Or two months of non-stop solid genetic experiments that resulted in what we believe to be brain damage. I'm not sure. But what it actually ended up being all this time was Arcotech attunement. That wasn't brain damage. That was just a buff that I didn't know yet that I had. Archites in my neurons, maintaining and improving my psychic link to distant Archotech intelligences. Periodically grants new silent levels. Wow. And look at that, Eltec synchronization. Again, I don't know which one of those many terrible, awful things that have happened to me over the past episodes have done it. But my god, something has made me a Psy streamer. Psy level 16? Well, I don't, don't know about that one. Uh, nine points available to spend. All focus types. And look. Some sort of brand new technology, perhaps gifted to us by the Arcotech themselves. Ooh. Death March. Destined Death Enlightened One. Non stop vomit. <laughs> That's disgusting, 78. How could you do that? It must have been 78 that gave Joris the Brave that mighty power armor that he has on. It looks so fearsome now. I suppose there's nothing else for it. We better start exploring this vault and figuring out what the hell we're gonna do to stop Void. Now, let's be totally honest with ourselves here, even with this mysterious Void benefactor. We're gonna get destroyed. So finally, at long last, welcome to Catharsis, episode three. It is always darkest before the dawn. We have to have that mental break before we can come back with Catharsis. And I feel like we very much got that whole mental break thing covered. Now, I will be honest with you. I have tried recording this episode about four times. <laughs> and every single time, something, I found something else wrong. So I have high confidence and I have high hope. But with two of us and Sir Joris the Brave, unstoppable. Absolutely unstoppable. Very stoppable. Bear in mind, 78 is, is not immortal. Uh, so let's hit the ground running. First things first, I think power to this vault, and then let's explore the bloody place and see what we've got to work with. Oh, and then you immediately do a thing like that. I mean, on the plus side, I could go in the gene tailoring pod, and there wouldn't be any problems because 78 could pick up the slack. Now, 78 is only good at combat, as we've discussed. Terrible at a lot of things and incapable of even more things. Hello there. Ooh. 
ancient workshop. We can craft all sorts of advanced stuff from this, can't we? With, by, by bypassing some of the crafting things that we would normally need, like a fabrication bench. Oh, void weaponry. They're good, but as far as I recall, they're not, like, insane, right? 18.88 melee damage is massive, but when you're using it on Void characters, it's not actually that impressive at all. Oh, this is useful, though. We've got some good stuff. On the very far east of the vault, we have hydroponics, and it's a very functional vault now. Ancient water filters, then actually filter water. Hold your applause. Ooh, lots of food. How much have we got? Oh, shitloads. Well, that'll last as well. Less to worry about. <laughs> More time to spend getting brain damage in... The bio vat. Bedroom. Hey, there we go. And the recreation room. Then down here, we've got a bathroom. And again, functional bathroom. Washing machines that we can put stuff in sinks that we, when we connect it up to water, can use as a sink. No more sipping stagnant puddles. No, no, no. Oh, maybe. Maybe for fun. Maybe for old time's sake. <laughs> <laughs> 78 thanks to all those void implants needs far less sleep and um anything what can i even get you to do maybe like deconstructing you can take some stuff apart oh my god that's really it fine you can do all the grunt work then 78 you volunteered oh a little tv room a frightening <laughs> awful tv room looks like my old house how lovely you know it takes me back to good times good stressful horrifying times and then when the power comes back on oh we got another crafting room Cool. So I guess one of these will turn into uh, maybe a research base, some sort of lab, and then the other one will flip into dedicated crafting. That's quite a quaint little vault. I think it's about the same size as the last one. <laughs> so here's the plan. Uh, 78, you can take everything apart. Meanwhile, I'm going to regretfully get reacquainted with this pod. Is this a bad idea? Probably. But on the plus side, if I get brain damage this time, I have a chaperone, a caretaker. 31% chance of failure. I mean, look, we failed, what, five or six times? So statistically, all the odds are in my favor. Is That is exactly the type of thing somebody with a very small brain would say. Let's connect these turrets up. Those could be handy. Oh my God, it's Void again. They're here. Void has sent an advisor to negotiate your surrender. Yeah, no, so they have. Hello, how are you doing? Now, to be fair, it wasn't Void that attacked us last time. It was a giant horrifying monster that was the result of Void Tech experiments. Oh God, here we go. A group of five well-dressed, heavily armed individuals with purple colored masks and piercing blue eyes stare into your soul. As they approach you, they come bearing gifts. They make it clear that they've come to negotiate. Greetings, we are Void. You have to leave this planet effective immediately. Oh, obviously, as a, a humble and a, terrified person, I'm going to beg for mercy. We understand. This situa situ situation isn't easy for everybody, much like English. You are hereby granted 30 days of grace period until we are permitted to remove you by force. Please, accept a token of our hospitality and leaving gift. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. And I would say so the timer begins again, but the timer didn't run out. Why would you do that? I've only just started. The timer didn't run out last time. It's just the wildlife got a little bit hungry. You've got an expertise already because you are an unstoppable killing machine. <laughs> Sharpshooting, aiming, reloading. Do you want accuracy? Aiming time minus 5%. Sure, give me that one. I don't think any of these particularly make much difference at this level. Now, I don't know 78's motives. All we know is her backstory that she is a deserter of Void. Maybe they just don't simply care that she's here. Maybe they know more than, than we don't. Maybe that they know that she is going to be destroyed. They have a plan for her. I, I have no idea. Uh, clearly, if we haven't established that already, I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> Why am I still here? Is 78 going to be here forever? I don't know. What are her motives? What, what can we ascertain from her? Maybe she'll disappear tomorrow. Maybe she'll be here right through to the end. Maybe she has some other nefarious plans. Maybe she's a spy on behalf of Void. I've got to say, it really is a game changer to have somebody helping out around the place. Now that we've recycled everything, I guess we'll try and repair what's left behind. We've got nothing but functional stuff left over, so the water filters, obviously, funnily enough, filter water. The TVs, the toilets, everything else is useful. We've got to patch up a lot of holes in the floor. And my god, I think I have just the thing. Concrete, baby. Ooh! Oh, thank you! Come back to machinery! It's really going my way all of a sudden. <laughs> until I pop out of the machine with brain damage. Only one day left until I get those fabled promised superpowers. Or maybe plastic claws again, who knows. But in the background, 78 has been turning this from a rundown vault into a workable base. Of which we can use to strike back at Void. Oh, it's not that good. It's got like a water well now. 
That's something. A little bit of pumping water. That's quite nice. Treated safe groundwater. Not a stinky puddle in a cave. No, no. And I'm sure that as much as, as most of you are going to miss me slowly crawling towards a stinky puddle to sip from a mid of cloud of brain damage, I, I sure as hell am not. I've had my fill. We've had a lot of fun with that. Now it's time to actually do something useful. Unfortunately, all the important things 78 can't do. She doesn't have the skills to build a concrete baby mixer. Nor, might I add, does she have the authority. I am the concrete. What the hell do you mean rolling power outages? I was redoing the power cables because I didn't like power cables being in the middle of the corridor. And what I've done is I've cut off the power to the pod. <laughs> no pressure. If you could build that up bloody fast, that'd be nice. Missing steel, bruh. Okay, well, you can take the steel out of the concrete mixer, baby. I'll let you have that. Oh, problem solved. Problem solved. That was almost a big problem. Think I've had enough self-inflicted brain damage to last me one week, thank you. Although this series is doing a real number on me in real life. Here we go. One hour. Gods be praised. Show me. Experiment success. Holy crap. And we can actually name the faction because there's two people. This is the best day of my life. You think if I call us enemies of Void, that's too on the nose. I mean, I mean it's me. It's a, I'm in this series. We can name it after somewhere in the UK. They've got some horrible place names. We've got some horrible places. Skegness. There's uh, Grimsby. That one's pretty horrible. You go to my good friends in Wales. They've got Clan Fire, Porth Wingeth, Go, Gareth Quinn, Droboth, Clan Tesselia, Go, Go, Go. We could name it after that one. We're going to name it that. I don't even know how to even spell that. I'm going to name it Sam's Vault. I oh, know where that's the faction. Ah, good enough. Um, the Sesamon, we're going to name it. No one is here. Please turn around. V v void. Void. Perfect. Uh, with a, there we are. What did I get? I didn't even check. I got so caught up in the bloody name. Show me. What is that? That one seems bloody good. <gasps> Range weapon doubled. Oh my god, it's actually useful. Holy crap, that was a really strong rifle. Void won't even know what hit them. What's that, though? Unstable. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, wait. That's actually really good. 100% size sensitivity is amazing. Because he's a bloody sidecaster. Holy shit, did we just go two for two? Like, not... Well, I, I would argue we went better than two for two. Two for two would be, like, good power and, like, a relatively okay weakness. Like, not something game-breaking. That's, not like, a good weakness. That's a positive. You can move that one up here. I've never felt such optimism in my whole goddamn life. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why are you redoing the power grid? I need to tidy this up. I need to tidy this up. This is looking good. I'm happy with it. Let's throw down that concrete mixer, presuming I've got enough steel. And then I think, thanks to the astounding work of Sir Joris the Brave going out there and bringing me back every stone chunk, we are going to conk all of the creep. Why can I not make that a thousand? That's very annoying. Uh, up we go. I've got some bad news for you there. Missing one stone chunk, you kid. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Ha, oh, that really is something, isn't it? Holy crap. You may be useless at many things and have no skill 78, but thanks to those void implants, I've never seen anybody make concrete as bloody fast. Color me impressed. Color me aroused. That's all it takes. Just, uh... Tremendous amount of concrete. It's a sign of power, you see. Now look, I think we replace all of the floors with concrete. Easier to maintain. A lot of this is steel tiles, and I'd really like to put that steel to good use doing other far more useful things than being a lovely floor accessory. And so it begins. We can leave 78 to lay the concrete, but the anima pod has sprouted. A granlin tree. But in a fancy anima form, because of course I'm a sidecaster, right? We have the three horsemen of dangerous reward bars right now. Dryads, Psy Powers, and a Mechanator. I can only apologize to those of you watching this on mobile, because my god, this is going to be a mess. I can sweep the leg. Oh, <gasps> because I have 10 melee now. My uh, plastic claw. You remember that time where I had plastic claws and I fist fought that enormous man and uh, died horribly? Well, I get a little melee skill from there. And as a result, of course, I can sweep the leg. Come grab this shotgun. We might need it for the angry mechanoids. We're about to make it far angrier. Oh my god, that's a shotgun with double range, too. Whoa! <laughs> I'm so glad we got that. That's absolutely one of the coolest superpowers. Well, maybe not the coolest. I think laser eyes are probably cooler. But one that we have the most flexibility with. One that we can definitely abuse the most, I think. Okay. Well, see you all in um see you all in a few hours. Man, if only we had like a a friendly void super soldier hanging around. Nope. Yep, that'll do it. Thank you. Uh, stand back. Joris, you may want to move now, my friend. Thank you. And there it is. Mechanator transponder. Well, mechanoid transponder for a mechanator. 
I was basically right. Now, step two for making a horrifying mess of myself. Not in that way. We have side casting. Nine points available to spend. I could dump all of those in side cast stats. We could focus heavily on picking a single power to spam non stop. Or alternatively, we spread our powers out across many different trees. I think I'm not even going to look at this. At this normal basic side casting stuff. I mean, eventually I want to get every side casting power. Is that a bad idea? Yep, absolutely. I'm not going to be able to use half of those effectively. Death March. Stand at the pinnacle of destruction. Even the most fortified city would be left with nothing but ruin and debris. I like all of those words in that order. Destined Death. For they hold the power to grant their enemies a true death, one where nothing can bring them back from. Oh, all of these sound good. Enlightened One. Make a great teacher, capable of changing the way people think. Nah, no thank you. That sounds amazing. The destined death of a void. I'm in. My god, I'm absolutely in. What is that first thing? Death bolt. Done. Soul pull. Pull all nearby pawns towards that location could be very good. Collect soul. Drain the souls. Empowering the caster's ability. I can drain the souls of void. Soul eruption. Manipulate a victim's soul to surge with unstable energy, forcing it to explode from the inside. Oh my god, you're giving me too much stuff. Just give me like a few of these. Just give me like a, me like a few of these things. How about that? Then, I think I'll throw a few points in Psycaster stats proper. Now, if I'm not mistaken, they do. These computers count as research tables. So we can decrypt that mech transponder immediately. Or oh, two scythes, two militers. You stand no chance. Uh, something, something overconfident, so an insidious killer. I mean, it, it has been a very quick and a very obvious killer this time. There's nothing insidious about a 20-foot man lumbering up to the front door and knocking your head off your shoulders. Range on this chain shotgun is actually ludicrous. Oh, that's amazing. Look, fire off the death bolt. Wait, which one's death bolt? You. Get roasted. Does that even work on a mechanoid? Oh, it targets the ground. That's actually very cool. I like that a lot. Ah, uh, run and gun, run and gun. No, 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 not search and destroy. Shit, that was the wrong button. I have no choice. I back myself into a corner. Sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. No, sweep the leg. Joris, Joris, I've already made a mistake. All right, fine. I'll bring up 78. Just wanted to see if I could actually do something. Oh, Joris has got it covered. That might be even more embarrassing. Hello, Yancy. How are you doing? Give me your, give me your Mechanator link. I need that. Yes, Mech link installed. I have installed a mech link. I am now mechanator and can create and control mechanoids. I uh, except I can't because we don't have any research. On the subject of that, we also get a constructoid or a lifter, one or the other. Now uh, the problem is, we've got anywhere for you to recharge a lifter. Hey, okay, okay, this is off to a good start. I like it. I mean, the real crazy part is none of this shit is stuff that I couldn't have done in the last series. It's just this time around, I've chosen not to jump into a pod. What I need to do is make a, a secluded area where I can plant this tree safely. Well, both the anima tree relocated over here and the Granland tree to build a little dryad grove. Well, we're talking. Oh, 78 can't talk? That's crazy. We'll never find out who she is. Just a mysterious stranger. Or perhaps I should say a mysterious savior. Thank you, 78. Wow, she really can't talk, huh? We have fun around here, don't we? They are having chit chat. It counts as chit chat because they've become friends. She just can't chit chat back. Oh, that's the saddest story I've ever heard. I mean, as much as I'd love to remove the mountain and plant this somewhere safe, there's no reason we can't use it immediately, right? This might be an inhospitable wasteland filled with giant glowing nuclear waste pools, but it's actually soil. This is actually pretty good for growing plants in. I guess we'll put you like there? Sure. Okay, that seems pretty convenient. I like that. Oh, this is nightmarish. Oh, what the hell kind of a thing to that is that to say to 78? Rude man. Spectre quality 10%. Oh, good enough. Good enough. I'm happy with that. And I mean, when you really think about it, is plant life not eternal? Plant become seed. Seed become tree. And tree become people. Because without tree, there could really be no people. People breathe air from tree and eternity. So tree become seed and seed. What a fucking horrible speech. <laughs> there it is. The Anima Nexus train is reminded this is this is dryads. This is dryads. They're anima dryads because I'm a sidecaster. And now I'm looking at this thinking, what the hell am I gonna do with dryads against void? We could have them make medicine or like ambrosia? Sod it. Okay, let's go for these little little friendly little friendly little baby man. Now this is accidentally amazing. Why I was so happy to get that weakness, in in quotation marks, of course. 
the pruning speed of the granlin tree, or in this case, the anima nexus tree, is determined by psychic sensitivity. We got a quote-unquote weakness that gives double psychic sensitivity. That means to maintain this thing at 100% is 1.3 hours a day. Granted, I've already got 1.3 hours a day when I spend every bloody day in a friggin' pod. Oh shit, did somebody say free components? I will happily take a space battle. Now, I should point this out again, because some people were asking about this last episode. I am a, I'm a gamer. We don't do social interaction unless it's via Discord. We can do chit-chat between our own. That's fine. And we can definitely insult people, as we've seen before with me and 78. 78? 78 is your name. That's right. But what we can't do is recruit or convert prisoners. So this is it. It's me and 78 till the bitter end. It calls to me. It calls to me, I can hear it in the back of my mind. Come on, you little weirdo, get in the pod. God, you're just so convincing, you horrifying Gene Tailoring pod. I think I will. This hole, it was made for me. What's the failure rate? 41% chance. Yeah, there is a chance, though, isn't there? There is a chance of success. <laughs> Why does nobody stop me? <laughs> how long have we got until Void get angry? We've only been here nine days, and look at how much we've achieved. Concrete, as far as the eye can see. This place is a bloody paradise compared to the shit hole from before. Now the question becomes, what the hell do we do with 78 while I'm still in this bloody van? And I think there is a very simple quarry-based answer. Uh, it's a quarry. Mini, mini quarry? Mini quarry seems good. We don't want to go too hard with it. Even though she's absolutely god-awful at mining, she's got such a high work speed from all of her void barnacks that she'll probably get through this in no time. Uh, okay. You know what? That's not nearly as bad as I thought. That's really not that terrible. Wow. Okay, no, this is... This is terrible. <laughs> I mean, not that terrible as in not that overpowered, but actually this is just... This is just crap. And to be honest, I really do need overpowered this series. Why are you doing that? No, you don't get to do that. No, thank you. Not anymore. Now, look, I know what you're thinking. I want to address it. Everybody's probably thinking, why not put 78 in the superpower machine? Because if she gains the ability that gives us a double range or half cooldown or whatever, she's going to be unstoppable. And the answer is no. I am the super soldier here. I think after the last two outings into this bloody vault, I think I deserve something to show for it. Oh, uh, well, that's not spooky at all. Thank you. Galactic Black Market has been overwhelmed during a raid. Netches has been captured by Void. Oh, that's great. I should have a look around the planet. We, did, we didn't really take a peek this time. Yep, they are absolutely everywhere. Amazing. Oh, 78. With all of this, I can build the research lab of my hopes and dreams. And the second I'm out of this damn pod, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Well, I mean, unless I get more brain damage, of course. Actually, on the subject of that, we've only got two more hours. See it through. See it through. Aurora is coming to an end. But a new Aurora me. God damn me myself. Okay, let's take a look. Please be good. Please, I need it at this point. Okay, what is that? Animal speech. We can convince a, a, a man-hunting animal to snap out of it, or a non-man-hunting animal to join the colony. What is this one? Unsure. Suffers from frequent dizzy spells, taking twice as long to acquire targets with their weapon. 200% aiming time, you moron. Oh, I suppose it's not too bad with a, like a sniper. Take twice as long to get to it. Well, it's basically just cancelled out Eagle Eye then. If you use a bloody sniper, isn't it? it take twice as long to get to us because we've got twice the range, but you also take half as long to actually acquire the bloody target. No, twice as half. I don't know anymore. <laughs> you no, know, I think I'm, I think I'm done. I think I'm done with the superpowers again for a little while. I think I've had my fill. Now it's time to do some useful research. Let's get some weapons going. You know what I really like? I really like some gun turrets. I'm sorry, a steel research? Oh, tablet. <laughs> I thought that said steel research toilet. No, that's definitely not what that says. Well done. We need silver for it. How the hell have we not got any bloody silver from this quarry? And if I'm not mistaken, there's actually a very, very tiny minor chance. It's default. I haven't changed it. A very tiny minor chance that there is some LTEX from that too. And of course, with my LTEX synchronization, that would be amazing. But without further ado, time to do some research. I'll take some turrets. Some industrial weaponry against Void. Hydroponics. Oh, maybe a reroll. Maybe a little reroll. Uh, what about a giant statue of myself? Okay, stupid. It's big brain time. Time to think. What are you doing? Pruning anima nexus tree. Uh, fine. Okay, to be fair, you haven't done that for days. Hey, that's cool. That also counts as meditating. You're pruning the tree, we're also gaining more powers, and eventually we'll be able to upgrade that even further. We have just crossed into day 16. 
Half of the time to prepare for Void have already been used up. 131 silver, though. Oh, I know exactly what to do with that silver. Now, I love semi-random research. I would never part from it, but in a situation where we're about to be, uh, potentially have my head knocked off again by an enormous Void monster, sometimes... Ooh, deep drilling's good, though, isn't it? Automatic quarries, hello there. Septic tanks would be good, then we could finally have a toilet. <laughs> Fine, I'll go for the sensible option. Now, what I was about to say, sometimes you need a bit more control over what you're doing. And that is exactly where Rim Atomics will come in, and this is exactly the series that I've designed to finally force myself to play Rim Atomic. Because, of course, the same thing happens every single time. There's some greater, quicker, more convenient power source for Rim Atomics to be overshadowed. Or we just kind of persevere with geothermal generators and the more boring things. We can't do that when Void's kicking around. We need to keep everything inside this very lovely sealed vault. And there's so much research to do and only stupid little very sleepy me to do it all. So this time around, instead of relying on luck, which I'll be honest, hasn't exactly gone well so far. Instead, ooh, toxic gas against Void? I'm sure they must be immune to that. That doesn't seem right. Oh... Stellic Throne? I really do want to flex on Void, though. No, stick to your guns, damn it. And, and, I mean, exactly that. Stick to our guns. I'm going to build enormous, gigantic guns and energy lasers. I am going to be the one that nukes people this time. I've had enough of being nuked. This is why Rim Atomics works so well. We can choose exactly what research we get from this at the low, low cost of 500 bloody silver. Where the hell am I supposed to get 500 silver? 277. 289. Oh, brilliant. We're halfway there, and it's only taken us <laughs> like four days to get that much silver. Four days of non-stop mining with ridiculous manipulation. Oh, Lord. Maybe Rim Atomics wasn't the best idea. We're in no rush. I mean, we are. We've only got 14 days before they can potentially attack. Biofuel refining. Hello there. Autop Autopsy. Then if we get one Void member... Oh, but no, they, they probably have those death acidifiers, don't they? I'm not sure. But my god, if we get a single Void member and I'm able to steal their limbs or their organs, I become equal to Void with the superpowers, the psychic powers, the Garanlan, every other bloody thing. Give me this much optimism. I'm not sure my heart can take it. Oh, look at the luck! 384. Oh, between 78 and me. We might be unstoppable. I might be unstoppable. Oh, I've got hope. I have hope in my heart, and all it took was a very, very overpowered colonist. Wow. Who could have guessed? The answer was right under my nose this entire time, you see. It takes Void to defeat Void. But I'm pretty sure that's how I beat Void the first time. Take their weapons and their their stuff. Try finding the Gluttech stuff, as I recall, and it just didn't work because it wasn't even remotely more powerful. Who is our mysterious benefactor? Who is the person behind that void mask? They can't communicate. Oh, thank you, Joris, for getting in line. I appreciate that. We can't ask them. We might not ever find out, but we both have a mutual enemy right now, and that is void. We might not be allies, but my god, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, and they are, they are an enemy indeed, especially the big scary one who knocked my head clean off. Thank you for joining me. Again, thank you for your eternal patience over the past over the past week while the content has been just totally up in the air. Hopefully, over the next couple of days, it's quite literally either tomorrow or the day after, there will be internet in my house. That's right. At long last, the time has finally come. It's taken bloody ages, but then the content can flow. I'll be able to catch up on all the messages. Of course, like, I can barely load anything. I can just about load Discord up on my phone. I'm 28 gigabytes over my monthly amount of data, but you know what? It's been worth it for the memes. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully, I wanted to take a bus to upload very soon, and everything will be fine. Thank you. Thank you for your eternal patience, and thank you, of course, to the patrons for allowing this all to exist in the first place. A big thank you to Adram, Wazi, Thor the Betrayer, Amethyst, Jen Stone, Malaki, Dire Cakes, Nick Bella, A Box, Voodoo Mumbo, You Tyrant 95, Fizzle Buns, Bling Magica, Syric 313, Arnie Rass, Immense Orb, Natake, Jackson Whitman, Stephen Allenson, Unwise Planes, Twee Panda, Jamie McBee, Zachary Whitaker, and of course, everyone else at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. If you've sent me a message on Patreon, there have been a lot. I can see the notifications on my phone, but whenever I try to load it up, it's just sat there spinning forever. Again, I've got shit internet here. So, hopefully over the next couple of days, I'll be able to catch up, but I'm absolutely drowning in messages and emails and everything. I haven't even checked my email because I can't. I dread to think what that's up to at this point. Fingers crossed. 
I'll be able to catch up with all of it over the next week or so. Thank you as well to Big Seguro, Stormcrower, Brian, Asgarum, Lou Waffle, Nox Immortalis, Philip Oliver Holes, Alan. Oh, why have you done that? Philip Oliver. I can't believe you. Alan, Robert Cox, Dan does a thing. Fedor, Farks, November, Thomas Holt, and Kongsmore as well. See you all maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, but it'll be very consistent soon. Won't that be a fun time? <laughs>